What's going on my Jack brother? Coach Scott here. In today's video, we're going to talk about whether or not you should start taking a testosterone boosting supplement. The idea for today's topic comes from Mark, who's a member of the Jack the Twerty Club, who recently turned 60 years young, and he's wondering if now would be a good time for him to start taking a testosterone booster. Now, before I answer that question, there are three questions that I like to ask myself. Number one is, have you had your blood work done recently? Number two is, do you have your lifestyle dialed in? And number three is, why do you want to take a testosterone boosting supplement? So number one, I highly, highly recommend that you get your blood work done on an annual basis. First of all, to be proactive with your overall health. You want to monitor for any deficiencies in vitamins and minerals. I want to make sure that your thyroid is functioning properly. For myself, I like to check my C-reactive protein with a, a family history of heart health. Uh, and I think it is a good idea to monitor your testosterone levels, especially after the age of 35. It's a good idea to kind of get those baseline numbers and see if they do start to drop off um, as you're aging uh, and how much they're dropping off, or if you're able to maintain your testosterone levels. I also uh, don't want you to get totally wrapped up in those numbers. Like some people, their testosterone levels are somewhat on the lower end. I wouldn't necessarily say like borderline low, but pretty darn low, but they feel freaking amazing. They're not experiencing any kind of negative side effects from that lower number. Like say maybe 300 NG over DL kind of a number there, which a lot would consider low and maybe even consider going on testosterone replacement therapy. But if you're feeling incredible, you're not experiencing any side effects, why worry? And then I see others who are upwards of like 900 NG over DL and they're feeling like crap. So the number isn't always an indication of how you're feeling it and what your overall health physically and mentally is. So, um, but the number, again, you want to make sure whatever your number is, that it's staying consistent year after year. And more important, like I said, just being proactive with your overall health. So get your blood work done once a year. Uh, so now addressing issue number two, is your lifestyle dialed in? And here, Mark, we're at the bat, like I think that as I, when I, after asking these questions, he like, yeah, he sleeps like shit. Well, I'm like, number one, like when it comes to your testosterone levels, if you are looking to take a testosterone boosting supplement um, and your lifestyle is shit, it's kind of like throwing a band-aid on a gaping wound that needs stitches. Testosterone boosting supplement isn't going to do anything if you're sleeping like crap, eating like crap, stressed to the nines. Like, for, forget it. You're, you need to get your lifestyle in check first. So making your sleep your number one priority minimum, minimum of seven hours of quality sleep consistently each and every night. So really making sure that you're getting a consistent sleep wake pattern going. You got a great evening routine that you can wind down to help you relax into a deep sleep at night. Uh, preferably, I, I would love to see you between eight and nine hours of sleep per night. That's, I, I mean, every client I've ever had who's brought their sleep, especially from five to six hours of sleep each and every night to eight to eight and a half hours a night. It's it's night and day with how they feel, their mental focus, their mental clarity, their mood, their energy, their performance in the gym, just being able to give the best of themselves to all that they're doing through the day. So sleep should be number one, managing your stress is another one. Number two, diet. Definitely try to focus on consuming mostly whole natural nutrient rich foods. You wanna consume, like eggs is a great source of food, uh, salmon, tuna, veggies, lots and lots of veggies. I try to have veggies with every single meal, uh, especially like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts. I enjoy those. I prepare them in different ways, whether it's air fryer or baking them, sometimes steaming them. Um, you can sprinkle a little different seasonings on there, seasonings that are good for your health as well. Um, and nuts are another good source. Some people say like Brazil nuts are fantastic. Walnuts, not too bad. Um, so some good healthy fats in your diet as well. So make sure your diet is in check. Um, get your weight under control as well. If you are overweight, reducing your weight is going to have a very positive impact. Reducing your fat is going to have a very positive impact on your overall health, but you don't want to get too crazy lean, uh, being crazy shredded all year round is gonna have a negative effect on your testosterone levels as well. So being in a healthy body fat percentage is gonna have a positive impact on your testosterone levels. Keeping alcohol in check is another thing as well. Um, I know Mark, you love your craft beers just as much as I do, but uh, that can definitely have a negative impact on your testosterone levels if you're having it on a daily basis. Um, or even when you do have it on the weekends, if you're drinking in excess, I like to keep it to one, maybe two craft beers once a week, maybe twice a week at the most. Um, 
just again, all these little lifestyle factors that can have huge, huge positive impact on your testosterone levels, way more than any testosterone boosting supplement. So again, if your lifestyle is shit, taking a test booster, slapping a band-aid on a gaping wound that desperately needs stitches to repair and get yourself back together again. And number three is um, why do you want to take a testosterone boosting supplement? So for some guys, if they're going to want to take it because they expect it to themselves to pack on a whole bunch of muscle, I say you're really setting yourself up for great disappointment if you're taking a testosterone booster to pack on massive muscle. It's, uh, it's certainly not going to have anything even remotely close to like steroid-like effects. So, um, so I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be taking a testosterone booster just to build muscle, just to gain some muscle there. A lot of guys will take a testosterone booster to um, boost their libido. They're having some uh, libido issues there. And I think that's a fantastic reason to take a, a testosterone booster. Um, I think that's probably the positive benefit that most people experience from testosterone boosters, especially those who have uh, the supplements that have maybe horny goat weed or fenugreek or oyster extract. Um, man, there's a, a whole bunch of different ones in there that have a uh, positive impacts on libido. Maca, another great one that, uh, that can have a, a positive impact there as well. Um, even ashwagandha can have a passive, positive impact on that because it reduces your stress levels uh, and that can increase your testosterone levels a little bit as well. So um, if you're taking a testosterone booster to improve upon your libido, again, not, not a bad idea. Um, other things to consider as well, if libido is an issue and that's why you're taking testosterone boosting supplement, um, I'd say like some say like 50% of libido issues are in your mind, it's psychological. So a supplement may not benefit you at all. You may need to get to, to the root cause of maybe there's some performance anxiety going on there um, or some other issues that uh, could be going on within your brain that can be overcome with some sort of um, therapy instead. So that's an area to explore even before you take a testosterone boosting supplement to increase your libido. Another thing to consider if that is the issue is maybe doing some low dose Cialis or to that Tadalafil or something like that. Um, Jay Campbell wrote an article, I think it was a year, maybe even two years ago, about the health benefits of taking low dose Cialis on a near daily basis, maybe even daily basis for the rest of your life because it's great for blood flow. It's gonna be great for your heart health, your overall well-being, and of course you're going to experience some of those libido benefits as well. So not only are you going to get uh, great pumps in the gym from that increased uh, blood flow, but great pumps in the bedroom as well. <laughs> it's uh, uh, one of my uh, good friends, uh, former client of mine, has recently been on that low dose Tadalafil. I think he's taking it five days per week when he's weight training uh, for the pumps in the gym and he's experiencing some positive benefits overall. Um, so definitely have me considering uh, going that route, especially when hearing the benefits like heart health benefits and blood flow benefits, just other health benefits that come from uh, consuming um, either Cialis or Tadalafil on a daily basis in low dose. I think it's like five milligrams a day or something like that. So those are something to consider if you are looking at testosterone boosting supplements for the sake of increasing libido. Now, if you're looking to take testosterone boosting supplements to uh, boost your strength, your energy, your performance in the gym, there has definitely been some positive benefits in that regards. Again, it may not necessarily translate to packing on tons of muscle or anything like that, but definitely if you're making strength gains, there's a chance that you could be gaining a bit of muscle in the process there as well. Uh, definitely, I just did uh, a review not that long ago on uh, Tomcat Alley. Tomcat Alley in the combination of Fidosia Agrestis. My um, strength went up big time, and even after I went off supplements for uh, a month there, went back on supplements to uh, reintroduce Tomcat Alley. My reps went, uh, my rep, my strength and muscle endurance went up um, almost immediately there. So Tomcat Alley, definitely a, a supplement that you may see in a lot of testosterone boosters. I take it separately. And uh, now instead of Fidogia aggressus, I'm combining it with Cystanch and absolutely loving that. There's other great health benefits with both of those supplements as well. So it's not just to increase my strength. Um, mental clarity, mental focus, uh, a lot of cognitive function benefits with both those supplements as well. So um, really enjoying that combination there. And um, so again, strength, and I did do my blood work there. My testosterone levels did go up taking Tonka Alley and Fidogia Agrestis. Just a few points there went like from 14.5 to 18.5, which is 
a fair jump, but it's certainly, again, not going to be anything like steroid effects. My strength, well, I'm not packing on muscle or anything like that, but I do feel great. My energy is great. My mental focus, my mental clarity, all that stuff is great. So there's some great positive benefits that can come from that. Now, one of my uh, coaching clients, Doug, he recently just ordered the Tomcat Alleys, thinking to himself, like, maybe I should get blood work done before and then blood work after a couple months to see if it does increase my testosterone levels. I, I don't get wrapped up in that. Yes, my testosterone levels went up, but even if my testosterone levels didn't go up taking Tomcat Alley, if my strength went up and I was feeling better, that's what matters most. So I don't get caught up. I know a lot of people are like, oh, that testo the testosterone booster, we don't know if it works or not unless you get your blood work done. Well, the blood work doesn't say anything. Again, like I said, your blood work could go up, your testosterone goes up, but you don't notice an increase in strength. You don't notice an increase in energy or how you feel or how you perform. So don't get wrapped up in the numbers themselves. And I wouldn't stress over getting the blood work done just specifically for that, taking a supplement and then seeing if it actually did increase your testosterone levels. Just get your blood work done on an annual basis as part of your like yearly physical to stay on top of your overall health and your overall well-being. So those are my takes on whether or not you should uh, start taking a testosterone boosting supplement, things to consider, um, alternatives to consider. And again, if you are feeling like crap, low energy, brain fog, um, just weak, fatigued, depressed, um, and you've got your lifestyle in check, you're sleeping well, your nutrition is great, you've tried some testosterone boosting supplements, definitely, you sh this is stuff you should be consulting with your physician with and hopefully have a great physician who is somewhat proactive with um, testosterone, testosterone health, and have conversations about the potential of testosterone replacement therapy. It's something I know very little about. I'm not on TRT or anything like that. Uh, looking into it a little bit more, especially being 47 years young here, um, it's tough to consider. I'm monitoring my blood work and I actually, my testosterone levels are a little bit higher now at 47 than they were at 40, but my lifestyle has never been more dialed in than it is right now. Like sleep, top priority, managing my stress like a champ, uh, just living my life to the fullest, pretty zen, pretty chill. Um, just feeling great and just always making subtle little improvements to my nutrition, to my activities, uh, my, my recovery, all those kinds of things. So, so it's been great to see like my testosterone actually going up again, some supplementation, some great quality supplementation in here as well. So there's no, really no reason for me to go on uh, TRT right now, even with my, uh, free testosterone being kind of borderline lowish. Um, I still, I feel great. That's what really matters to me. So um, those are my two cents on there. So that's my thoughts on should you take testosterone boosting supplements? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. What uh, supplements have worked for you? Do you think it's a waste of money or just flushing your money down the toilet? Any of your thoughts, any of your insights, I welcome uh, and really look forward to getting the dis this discussion going. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you don't follow a bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. Before we go, don't forget to download your free guide, Lose Fat, Get Jacked. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.